Hey everyone, I'm Ben, the Nomadic Mechanic. This is Winchester behind me, my Land Rover 101 forward control ambulance conversion, and uh, we're travelling the length of the Rockies from Trinidad up to Glacier National Park. Last, last week, we, uh, well, a couple of days ago, we tried to travel over the Hoogerman Pass, um, but it was snow capped, same as we did trying to do Mosquito Pass a couple of days before that as well. Um, but now we're just going to head south and then west again up to Aspen, check out Aspen for the weekend, uh, and then carry on until we meet up with the Trans America route again. Uh, this is our adventures. That is the beautiful Twin Lakes. Oh, beautiful. And yes, this is the road that's independent pass. Uh, have a look and see how high it gets. But I have a feeling this is going to be a slow stop start day because it's, it's going to be cool today, but it's not. <laughs> so there's, no, there's no getting around this. It's the only, only way up to Aspen from this side. Uh, there is no off-road route, so I'm just going to take it nice and easy and just be patient. Stop number one. Uh, we're going to just under a couple of thousand feet. Doing well. Hopefully, I'll put some uh, super coolant in this morning. Not actually knowing that we'll be doing this, but uh, yeah, <laughs> timing was good, so let me cool down. Um, it's a lot quieter this road than I thought, which is brilliant. I haven't seen a single semi yet. Um, it's, yeah, most people seem to be already parked up along all the various hikes along here, so hopefully, it'll stay that way. Still got some wiggly bits to go on the map. But it is definitely getting cooler. And the road is nice and quiet. I just the, the last big uphill I didn't even have anyone behind me the whole way, which was nice. So I just got my own pace. Seems to come in pockets. <laughs> so if I get it get it correct, I, I won't <laughs> be hassled by too many people. As usual, I'm asking too much of Winchester. <laughs> we have just come from down there. Uh, and yeah, we've only got about another thousand foot to go. I think we're nearly at the top. Just having to do it in stages, take it easy. Uh, he's, he's coping. We made the top of Independence Pass. Uh, only three stops. <laughs> so, pretty chuffed for that. Uh, scenic viewpoint overlooking the whole valley so I'm just gonna go and check that out and give Winchester a little break.
quick update. Randoms at the bar, a few places to stay. Aspen is as I expected. Expensive, beautiful, full of beautiful people. Um, yeah, just stunning. So, Aspen. Yeah, I turned up lunchtime on a Saturday, which is never my ideal. It is busy, busy, and there was a market on, so not the centre town roads are closed. Anyway, and the pot, spot next to a park. It's cost me $16 for three hours, I think it was. This isn't horrendous. I've had worse. Had a go. He's off to Grand Junction to see his lady tonight, but he said stay by the ice rink, free. I don't want to hassle you. It's only a couple of blocks away from where I am now, so I think that's the plan. There was a, a milestone on this trip was doing Aspen, so to, to be here, see it, experience it, walk around a bit. Really nice. So I came to where the guy at the bar said I could park. And yeah, I think I can, but it's, it's a nice family area with family homes and kids running around on bikes and things. That's, I wouldn't want me parking here if I lived here. So I'm gonna move on. There's a park and ride five minutes up the road. And I can park there and not bother anyone. Stick up the Starlink, watch the rugby, have a glass of wine, etc. and then not be worried. I'm not gonna go out again tonight. I had a nice look around town and, uh, and a couple of drinks and met a few <laughs> randoms. That's what it's all about. Uh, and I'll literally be opposite the entrance to Snowmass tomorrow, so I can choose to do that for one. So yeah, gonna move up the road. It's, it's just basically a park and ride right next to Aspen Airport. So there's been lots of planes going over. Snowmass is up there. Yeah, so that that been here. I haven't even, haven't even seen anyone come and go from it. A couple of the vans and things like that. Um, yeah, it's a nice stop, rest stop. I've been doing a bit of route planning again. Looking forward to getting to Wyoming now. Now I've been reading about it. There's lots of stuff that I want to see. Looking to get into the the Grand Tetons and then the Yellowstone and Jackson. So we're going to pack up, uh, head up the road to Glen Wood, I think it is. Um, probably end up at a Walmart's tonight. Uh, there's some things I want to shop for. and It's an easy place to stay. And that'll make, make a nice uh, getaway for tomorrow morning. Do a little bit of road to Rifle, and then we are back on the Trans-American. It's raining quite a lot, actually. So I found a spot of BLM land next to town again. Um, read conflicting reports about whether you can, can't. There are signs saying though, camping, not camping. I mean, it's BLM land, so I don't see where you can say, how they can say that. But check out the view. And then it's the same on the other side too. It's 
there's the get amazing amazing sun rises and sets here so uh, yeah there's a bus a schoolie across the way so I don't think it's a problem staying here I'll be off early in the morning anyway I should think good morning from Glenwood Springs what a lovely place I should have showed you yesterday but yeah gorgeous sunrise over the hills this morning and I had the best night's sleep proper deep deep sound sleep woke up this morning feeling full of beans and yeah had nice omelettes a cup of coffee clean windows just uh, yeah look to the map ready for the day ahead I'm gonna head down to rifle uh, do the rounds fuel water and food uh, and a pressure wash uh, and then head off road on the Trans America again. So, yeah, just got to go off this wonderful hill first, but yeah, I think that's where we're on ley lines or something here. It's a, it's a very peaceful place, apart from the side by sides and the bikes and things. But that's, that's the kind of BLM land and public use area. Glorious morning. I'm in a really good night today. Um, I think I'm channeling my mum's joy because it's my mum's birthday. Happy birthday, Moo. Love you very much. Uh, also, I bought a new plug charger yesterday because my one for the iPad that you're watching on now had died. And it's also got a Type C charger which does my anchor speaker. Uh, so, we're going to have a bit more music from now on. I love listening to music and I don't, I don't seem to be doing it anymore so I need to head, add that back into the life. But yeah. July 15th, happy birthday Moo.
made for rodeo venues. Free portable water. And on I Overlander again, but yeah. That's uh, pretty much a farming town. Being on top of a hill is a good idea at the moment. I've seen quite a few lightning strikes, but we'll see. Well, I found a spot. I've got amazing views. The rain's just coming down again. Um, probably the highest thing in the area. And there is lightning about. No, I think I'll stay here. It's an amazing view. Um, about to get a big old rainstorm. The thunder and lightning. Uh, according to Onyx. Uh, so still a, quite a ways from the Wyoming border. Um, and it's four o'clock. It's time to settle down. I'll be driving along get hit by lightning soon, it doesn't really matter. Good morning everyone. Well, last day in Colorado. I uh, spent the last couple of days here in the north, flat plains of northern Colorado and uh, yeah, it's been really, really nice. I wasn't expecting it of this spot. After coming out of the mountains, I was sort of thinking it's going to be a bit boring, but I've watched eagles, owls, hawks, um, critters on the ground, beautiful sunsets, stunning sunrises uh, yeah it's been just a, a lovely couple of days here um, I spent most of yesterday with the calendar and maps and onyx uh, looking at the routes deciding where I want to do because um, I haven't got that massive amount of time left I've got six or seven weeks um, before I want to be back in Seattle on the ferry to Alaska uh, and I want to get a lot done in that time so uh, we're going to spend from now, which is Wednesday, uh, till Monday, getting up uh, just outside of Teton. And then we'll be doing it a week at a time. So Grand Teton the first week, then Yellowstone the next, uh, then uh, partway up through Montana, and then Glacier National Park for a week, uh, then over to Leavenworth, uh, back in Washington for a week. Uh, and then back in Gig Harbour for at least one week. I'm, I'm sort of giving myself a, a week's cushion after that as well, just for fudge time, basically. So, um, yeah, but yeah, we're going to make our way to the Wyoming Utah border today to a reservoir and some a small mountain range. Um, there's 
diamonds there basically so I'm trying to do a bit of rock hounding in some streams and things or whatever um, and yeah um, I was hoping to do a load of drone flying yesterday but it was windy all day really windy all day yesterday so today's perfect so hopefully we'll get some drone flying in now uh, I did do some the other day but I didn't press record <laughs> so still learning it get my skill set there um, well, yeah let's crack on
what a field you want to go walking in. Not many people come this way. <laughs> vehicles only. That's not me. I'm not sure why. Let's see. What mistake did I make here? Country road, so I guess I can go through it. Just keep it get closed, of course. Or I can follow that track, which is sort of a dirt track, and heads towards the land that I wasn't allowed in. So we'll take the gate. <laughs> Nice lunch spot indeed. We're 2.6 miles from the corner of the three states. Not sure if I can get there. I've already hit one bit of private land and a gate. Um, I can try. <laughs> axle articulation and uh, adverse camber stuff, cross camber which is my least favourite. It's a clear track, there's fresh tyre marks across it, there's been no signs of private property or stay out or trespassing or anything like that. So, as far as I can tell I'm alright. down a little bit and maybe a swampy bit. Well I pretty much determined that at the top of that hill, or the top of this hill, is the corner of three states. And this track is getting thinner and tighter and it doesn't really look like there's much of a way out once I get there. I think common sense is back to that last little bit of road and then follow the easiest path out of here because it's massive. And I'm in the middle of nowhere, I need to get up to 
that road there. It was a nice idea, but not, not, not worth just to get to the top of that hill. Now I've got to figure out how to turn around. Right, well I've just used the drone to do some scouting. Uh, and my best option is to carry on going forward. There is a turning that carries on the north. There it goes, having a clue. Um, but turning around isn't really an option. And the track looks absolutely fine up to that point. So that's the way we're going. Um, <laughs> yeah, got a bit too deep in on this one. I wasn't expecting it to be such wilderness. This is it, this is the closest I can get to the corner of three states. It's basically just up here somewhere. <laughs> uh, Winchester, and look at the angle of that. Inside that doesn't feel that bad now, and I've felt worse in it, so I don't know what sort of angles I'm getting to. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it doesn't feel that comfortable at the points. Uh, I've got the choice of this track, which I'll have a look at now with the drone again, or at least I can turn around here uh, and go back the way I came, which isn't ideal, but I ain't going through that either. Sort of wish I hadn't decided to do this, but hey ho, adventure. <laughs> and I think this will be the end of this week's episode. We don't need to watch me getting out here again right now. Uh, so that could be the start of next week. Um, and yeah, we're in Wyoming and we're going to Teton and explore around Teton. Thanks for watching. <laughs>